Hey everybody, this is uh, Everett from Astro Everett. Um, I'm just set up in the backyard here and I'm going to be trying to photograph the Ring Nebula, which is uh, M57 if memory serves me correctly. Um, I, got, uh, I got my rig all polar aligned and I'm just going to do my star calibration and um, and then I'm going to slew over to M57 which is looks like it's right past above me so it's I think it's past the Meridian but anyway I um, also wanted to talk about um, the programs that I use to plan my imaging sessions and uh, photograph the night sky and uh, so I just uh, I'm just getting used to this screen record screen recording software excuse me um, and uh, I'm gonna show you what I do to get uh, to get set up so what I normally do is I start up either uh, I start up Stellarium right here takes a bit um, computers a little on the older side so it's not as powerful as modern day stuff. This is about 10 year old laptop. But um, yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna go to now. All right, and okay, atmosphere is off. Okay, I'm gonna try and scroll out here. Okay, which way are we pointing? Okay, so we're pointing, well, the, the computer's pointing south, but the, the view of Stellarium is pointing east. And, okay, that's what I'm looking for right... Th no, no, uh, up a bit. There we go. So, M57 is... Oh, wow, okay. M57 is right around... Here, so let's try and oops, let's try and zoom in a bit. Whoa, too much. So this is why I don't like this is why I don't like using the mouse pad. The mouse pad's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Actually, you know what? I think I will. Uh, oh, there's the Dumbbell Nebula right here I could always shoot for, but uh, let's see here. Okay, let's keep going up here. Okay, there's Vega. Ah, the Ring Nebula, there it is. Right here. So. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Yep, there it is. Okay. So, now that I'm, I've picked my subject that I want to shoot, okay, um, what I do is I go up to here and I click on what it would look like if I... So I'm on my telescope, as you can see, 8-inch Schmidt Caspian, but I got my focal reducer set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through times 2 Barlow, none. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the best. Okay. Oh, I'll be okay. I'm doing I'm doing something else. All right. So, 4 times focal reducer. 3 times focal reducer. There's 6.3 focal reducer, which mine, which I normally have. 
So, all right, so I'm gonna have to try and, it's gonna be very small on the screen. So the red area here is where my field of view is for my telescope with my camera and um, without my focal reducer. So uh, once I do my star alignment and all that, um, I should be able to slew right to the target and start taking pictures. So I am going to uh, get my get my computer or get my, um, my ADP. It's right here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna call it up because that's how I use to look through my telescope. Um, I have it hooked up through ADP so I can actually see whatever the camera is seeing. All right, so I'll go no and cancel. Okay, now I'm going to turn my camera on. Okay, did it do anything? Probably not. Oh, there we go. The lid had to be closed on the battery pack. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to connect my camera. Camera connected. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my handset here. I know you can't see it because I don't have a camera on it. But uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do my star alignment now. So what I'll do is I'll get it to a point where um, it'll just slew to a star, and then I can just make fine adjustments um, before I come back to you. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video, and uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back here. Just uh, I just had a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a problem trying to get everything in focus. But anyways, I'm uh, I'm locked on Arcturus right now, and I've been playing around with the focus. But my live view, I had it off, so I wasn't seeing anything. I was racking the focus in and out, and <laughs> I wasn't seeing anything. So I was like, okay, what's going on here? And then I realized live view wasn't wasn't on. But anyway. As you can see, okay, so that's a star that is out of focus. But the reason I'm showing you this is to show my collimation, which means that black dot is pretty much right down in the center of the star when it's out of focus. That means your collimation is good. So my collimation seems to be pretty bang on. So uh, I just wanted to, uh, to show you that. Okay, so I'm back. So I've just done my, I did my star alignment, but now I'm doing calibration stars. So this is my first calibration star, and that was Altair. It was a little bit off, so I got Sky it dead center. <laughs> and there's the uh, the program talking to me. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do another cal calibration star. So I'm gonna go to Deneb. That's in Cygnus. So. I don't know if you can hear the telescope slewing, but it should come almost right in. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Almost dead on. So I think I'm going to just do two star calibration. So I hit enter when I find it in my finder scope, which is pretty much the screen. And then I can make fine adjustments from here. Ooh, look at that, bang on. Okay, and then I hit a line. Uh, 
All right. So, you know what? I think I'll do one more calibration star just to be on the safe side. Enter. Let's see where it at. Alferez. Alferez, Alferez. I can't remember if that's lower. Uh, you know what? Yeah. It seems like I got some clouds coming in. Meanwhile, my astronomy software said that it was going to be clear. Fantastic. Yeah, the <laughs> things we do. All right, so I'm going to go Alferez and see where it slews to. And it's behind a tree. <laughs> so I'm going to pick another target once it's done slewing. Yeah. Okay, undo. Okay, that's even worse. I'm just picking some stars. I'm not exactly sure the stars that I'm picking, but I should... Okay, calf. That's in Cassiopeia. I can't believe the amount of clouds that have just come in. I might not be able to do anything. Yep, I'm completely clouding over. This isn't good. Huh. Wow. Okay, well, I'll undo that one. And... Uh, Shidar. Well, that's right in the middle of, Ca of uh, Cygnus, so... Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see what this does. Nope. Shidar is in Cassiopeia. My bad. I'm thinking Seder. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, there goes a the satellite. Did you see that? That was actually kind of neat. Okay, a line. Please wait. Okay, I got three calibration stars. Okay, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So, what I'm going to do is, oh boy, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to try and go to the Ring Nebula. So, uh, I'm going to go undo, align success, okay. Then I'm going to go on my hand controller and I'm going to go into my Messier category. So it's 57, so 0, 5, 7. Hit enter. Ah. See? <laughs> See, I'm kind of rushing again. I should while I was on that star, I should have uh, should have done my focusing. Okay. Is it done slewing? Not quite yet. Okay, there. We're done slewing. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off live view. All right. I'm going to get rid of the crosshair. I'm going to go to bulb. I'm going to set my ISO to 1600. Okay. And then I'm going to do a 10 second. Actually, I'll do a 20 second shot. Um, I got a gut feeling that my polar alignment isn't as good. I was getting two-minute subs before, um, and I'm doing it all manually. So, um, so yeah, and I got a ton of clouds coming in. Bloody heck, this isn't good. I got clouds all around me. 
I might not be able to do this tonight. And if it and if I don't, I'm still going to post this on YouTube and it's just to show you, you know, the stuff that, you know, we go through to uh you know, to to take pictures of the night sky. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. Um more times than not it works out, but there are nights where, you know, stuff happens out of your control and, you know, so be it. So, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test shot. Exposure started. And you'll be able to see right on the screen, same time I do, um, what the shot is going to look like. So it's at 12 seconds. So let's see what we got. We probably got a whole Exposure bunch of clouds. So, oh, there it is. There it is. Ah, that's cool. That is really cool. Um, okay, so I'm going, and there's no star trailing by the looks of it. Now, my, yeah, my focus is, my focus is out. So what I'll have to do is maybe put it in the home position and then maybe try and come out a little bit later. See what, see what happens. But I'm just for, for, for giggles. I am going to do a 50 second shot and see what happens. Exposure started. So yeah, this is, so I use Stellarium to set up my shots and to frame them and to figure out what's going to fit in. Oh, it looks like I got, looks like there's a galaxy there too, IC 1296. So let's see. Uh, I don't not, I don't think you can see it on the on the picture here, but so I use Stellarium to, to plan my imaging sessions, and then I use APT, which this this is the program, and it's all free software. Um, now you can pay for a a paid version for this. Um, cost uh, cost eighteen point seven zero euros. Uh, not sure what converted to Canadian that is okay oh you can actually make out a little bit of of color too so I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and wait for some of these clouds to pass um, in the meantime I'm going to go on to a bright star and um, and uh, put my batten off mask on and get my focusing really good and then uh, and then go from there. But um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hopefully, with uh, you know, with a, a clearer view, with the clouds coming in, maybe they will move out. But um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, and I'll uh, I'll touch base with you in a little bit. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, so yeah, I got completely clouded over, and there's no imaging tonight. Um, yeah, the app that I used, it uh, it lied. <laughs> it said it was supposed to be clear and the scene conditions were supposed to be pretty good, uh, minus the the 97% lit moon. But um, yeah, it uh, it was wrong. But hey, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. Anyways, I uh, just want to let you uh, let you know what happened, and um, yeah. I'm kind of bummed out, but, uh, you know, there's always tomorrow or, you know, some other time. Um, but this is the next target that I will I will go to shoot. Um, this one right here, the Ring Nebula. Actually, you know what, let's, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Yeah, so you can see a little bit of, a little bit of blue and then maybe a little bit of red or purple or, but as you can see here, my stars are... Uh, they're not they're not pinpoint sharp because I didn't uh, didn't do my my focusing routine which I normally do on the last star of my uh, alignment I'll uh, put my batten off mask on and uh, and focus from uh, from that star but um anyways uh, yeah I hope everybody has a good night and uh, I just also you know this video I wanted to uh, wanted to show you what programs I use for uh,
for capturing and for uh, planning my uh, planning my session sessions, which is again, which is Stellarium. Um, so here, let's see if I can zoom in. So that's what the um, what the Ring Nebula looks like. I guess this is a Hubble shot, but um, yeah, I plan to uh, image that next time I get out. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if the so I guess that is a galaxy. Let's see. Active galaxy. Yeah, it says right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, active galaxy right there. Yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. So this is Stellarium. And uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, I'll uh, I'll see everybody later, and uh, hopefully next time I get out, I'll kind of do the same thing and. You know, I'll show you my. You know, I'll try. I'll try and show you my setup. I'll try and do um, different camera angles. I'll probably have to use two different cameras, but you know, I hope to uh, hope to have a little bit more detailed video for you uh, in the next one. But uh, anyways, I will talk to everybody later, and I hope you have a uh, great night. Uh, please um, feel free to comment and subscribe and like the video. It helps me an awful lot. Um, I'm almost at 100 subscribers, and uh, every subscriber helps, and it, I really appreciate it. So for now, um, this is Everett signing off, and we will talk to you later.